What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be looking at Lorna Shore's trilogy, the Pain Remains trilogy, and we're going to go over it together and see what we think of it. And I got these light spots from my window on my face. So anyway, let's jump into it. Um, I don't have a lot of to preface this, um, but if death and then if suicide and stuff like that is stuff that you find triggering and bothers you, then just skip over this video. Don't bother watching this. Keep your sanity and focus on something else. Thanks. Let's jump into it. Here we go. You could argue you, we've gotten nowhere. <laughs> you could argue that we have gotten absolutely nowhere. But it hurts so much already. Just the combination of the simple pad and the rain and the mooding in the video, it's already like it already hurts. music like perfectly describes this situation where you're just you're in so much grief or pain or shock or whatever that all you can do is just stare and you're just you completely lost in like your mind and the fuzz and whatever is going through your head you're just lost there and I think, yeah, okay. He's married, okay. That gives me a good indication. Okay, so looks like we're losing a spouse. That looks like what we're talking about, significant other, however you want to put it. Um, <clears throat> and even lyrically, what I was, it reflects, it reflects the thought process of when you do space out in pain, you know, you space out in pain and then you come back to the realization of this actually is happening. And those the phrase you can't look away and then that will say conclude that thought into that next phrase you were my everything that is heavy and then going into this blast beat just hmm.
So as far as the music video goes, it looks like the present, what we're, we're actually experiencing is going to be in dark blue. It's going to have a more blue tint to it, whereas memory, memories remembering the happy times are going to be in this more golden um, shading. So I said that more for myself and just thinking through this, but let's, let's keep going. <laughs> If you look at the way this song is being structured, it looks like you have the intro, the slam into reality that this is happening. This is what's going on. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to process this help. I'm so whatever. And then that dumped into a chorus that just kind of opened up, allowed you to open up your emotions and just feel and then after the chorus brings it back into this tight blast beat slash death metal section where it's building stress, building tension, building panic almost. Let's keep going. <laughs> There's this really cool, like, type of feel to it that even though it's blast beats, even though it's really, really fast, like drumming and the guitar work is all over the place and everything, there's still this, like, slow back and forth that is melancholy and kind of just, like, the, the verse brings panic with the speed and everything, but this melancholy holds you back, kind of pulls you back, keeping you in this state. Anyway. <laughs> So this, we're going to go, I'm interpreting this as the loss of a spouse and trying to recover from that kind of absolutely devastating loss, you know, that's, and this is, this is only the first chapter of this. Um, anyway, um, let's see, man. I think anyone in a relationship, anyone who has ever loved somebody like this in a partner spouse way, I can't imagine you being able to sit through this and being okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was wondering if they were going to have a solo like this in here. of emotion through music to this like there there's gonna there are country songs there's slower songs softer songs that deal with sad topics and stuff but I think death metal just has this certain like there there aren't a lot of styles that you can really grab onto desperation the same way that you can that they're doing it in this and it is art to be able to see this like it is art that they're doing here anyway it looked like we're entering in a brand new section here so let's So let's start this. Man. There's just so much emotion in this. Like, man. Just overwhelming emotion. It's a great feeling. Like, it's a great thing to be able to convey through music. Because not everybody can. Not everybody is able to write music like this that conveys so much power and so much emotion through it. And this is a masterpiece man like just going through the thought exercise of losing your spouse the thought exercise of just being the one if you will that has to go on alone is exhausting and brutal and I don't want to do it. So I'm just going to keep it in here. And keep going. And from this view, you know, of looking in like this, like as a husband or as a wife, whoever's in the position of staying how do you do this like how do you stay strong through this to see them out if you will like and i think all of us like in that moment if we have to be there and if we are and i pray that i am there um when we go through this, like, how do you hold on? How do you stay strong for them so that they are able to go knowing that you will continue on and you'll make it, you know? Like, you, you never want to leave somebody... <laughs> You don't want to go in, in a situation like this. You don't want to be trying to comfort somebody who's on death's door, who's about to pass, and now they're worried about you surviving. Like you don't. I don't think any of us would want to make somebody feel that way. But it, go, going through the thought 
exercise beforehand. Like, how do you steel yourself to be strong like this in this situation? The face blinds, the silhouette in this world I That hurts. That phrase, um, what was it? In the expanse, I finally see a world without you wasn't made for me. Or wasn't meant for me. Something like that. Still the idea, though, like, without you, without my wife, in my case, without my wife, without my son, I would feel like this world isn't meant for me anymore because the people closest to me are no longer there. And the people that mean everything to me are gone. Like, how do you push through that? You know? And I, I assume that's kind of what we're going to tackle in the next chapters, too. But whew, it's so heavy. This sounds like we just transferred from sorrow, sadness, grief. We just took a turn into anger and rage. Oh, with the band is now it's snowing it's not raining anymore so it's snowing so things are beginning to freeze and I would say emotionally that's probably kind of what we're going through right now too is our emotions are freezing up we're freezing up we're getting mad we're getting yeah regret remorse anger rage that's what's going on <laughs> forbid I ever get to a point like because it just crossed my mind like you get to a point where you're so upset right that you blame the person who died you blame your spouse you blame your best friend you blame your battle buddy whatever you blame yourself you you blame for what happened for death And no one can heal from that. Like, you cannot heal your wounds, your pain, your emotional stress, whatever. You can't heal it from pinning the, pinning the blame on them or on you. 
and just getting that anger and stuff like that's mm. we got a breakdown coming in here In this we we also we still have in this section too we still have this laid back like every everything is super fast but we still have this thing holding us back in the background keeping us at this kind of wave if you will that you can hear through the whole song so it's really cool. This is Getting the idea that what we're going for here, I'm getting the idea that what we're going after here is kind of getting to that point where you, I don't know if you naturally do, but where you begin to shake your fist at God and you say, why, why did you do this to me? If you won't take me out, I'll take myself out. I'll get out of this situation my, on my own. And I think that's kind of it's what it feels like we're looking at here.
in that moment, you got to think like, can you imagine that person, right? They didn't choose to die, right? They didn't choose to go out of their way and leave you behind, right? And the way that you repay their memory is by saying, I'm going to take the easy way out and I'm going to go out like this because it's too much for me to deal with right now. You know, like, is that really, I, mm, man, <sighs> man, So I'm just going to take this kind of brief moment here in the middle of this thing to kind of talk really quickly to you, um, whoever you are, that I'm not going to share my whole life story or anything here, but suicide is a very serious topic and it's something that people should not joke about, should not take lightly. And I'm not saying that Lauren Shore's taking a lightning or anything like that. But um, one thing I would say is as we watch stuff like this, as we go through the journey of experiencing or living through someone's pain like this, um, it's very important to evaluate ourselves and where we're at as people and if we are, if you have any issues like this, if you are feeling depressed, if you're feeling like this would solve things, I would highly encourage you to talk to somebody, talk to a therapist, talk to the suicide hotline, talk to any number of people that are available to help you deal with the, the kinds of thoughts and trauma that comes with loss. Um, and if you find songs like this or videos like this triggering, don't watch them. And yeah, it's important that we take it seriously. If, um, if you feel like you're losing control, you feel like you're going off the deep end, it's very important that you take it seriously and you get help from either people at your church or people that you know from life in general. Um, I would suggest though that you get in touch with a professional who can help you through the issues like this. And yeah, you're not alone in feeling this way. Um, the emotions portrayed in this trilogy are real emotions that people feel and they are a very serious topic that they're tackling here and it's important that we as humans also take our responsibilities seriously in helping those that are on the edge and also when we are on the edge seeking out help to prevent us from doing anything or falling into the temptation to do something that would cause much, much more harm than any possible solution. So if you are struggling with depression or suicidal tendencies, thoughts, reach out to somebody, reach out to the suicide hotline reach out to me, reach out to a professional. That's what I would suggest. Look at apps like BetterHelp, somebody that can help you through the process of dealing with loss in a healthy way. So just want to take a quick minute and say that. Thanks. Uh, I had to stand up for a second. All right, let's see. Let's get back here.
like we have deviated from maybe it's just my thinking and the way I would um, deal with things. I, I feel like emotionally it's the last two chapters aren't quite as lined up with what I believe and kind of where I feel like my head would be in this situation given like part of that would be due to intentionally not going in certain directions but anyway really quickly say arson is not going to fix anything and burning your house down it won't help anything but yes I get that we're getting like we're trying to portray a emotional message here and that they're not saying burn your house down I get that <laughs> understand the difficulty you know of like walking past the same things that held so much meaning like I definitely understand that
it's so sad. person's death or something happens and they feel so incapable of dealing with it that they also end up committing suicide. That's a very heavy topic to tackle, and overall, I would say that they did a very good job. Um, musically, they portrayed the emotions well. well. Um, technically, they performed the music well, um, and whoever directed and um, put the music video together did that very well. Um, Like it's it's hard it's rare that you come across bands that can portray loss and portray such human things in such a perfect way. Um, it's rare you come across a deathcore power ballad that actually is amazing, and that was definitely the first chapter of that was definitely that. So. Props to them for pulling this off. This is very hard to do, and they did it. Ex they excelled at it, and it was great. I I can't say I enjoyed it because of the emotions that it brings out of you, but bravo and well done. Very well done. If you have any thoughts, comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to tackle more heavy stuff like this, um, subject-wise, I mean, or music-wise, give me your suggestions, and let's, let's get through it together. Let's see what happens. But until next time, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.